welcome back. I have another really functional um, and purposeful breath technique to share with you today. This one is for severe or extreme activation. So in those moments uh, when you're feeling that intense do something feeling, yet there's no physical danger in your environment. It can feel like panic, um, just severe anxiety, or the inability to sit still. Like when I'm experiencing it, it is like a intense vibration in my body where I just feel like I need to go for a run or I need to do something, but I don't really have um, a really clear answer or need to do something in that moment. And what we know about the brain is that when we're in that activated state, we don't have access to our whole brain. We can't think or do anything outside of what we've thought or done in the past. So the first step is we need to downregulate. We need to bring ourselves back into a state of presence and grounding so that when we do re-engage or make a decision, that it's coming from a place of safety and calm versus acting out. So there are a few steps to this. Uh, it starts with a, a double pump inhale. And you might find, especially in severe activation, that there's so much tension in the body that it can be really helpful to put your hand on your belly and push in a little bit. So when you do the double pump, you're pushing into your hand, which really helps make sure that you're opening up your, uh, your belly and your ribs versus just keeping that breath in the chest. And this is a great technique in general for practicing belly breath, is putting some pressure into the belly so that you're meeting that feedback and breathing into your hand, uh, really engaging it like you're putting your respiratory muscles through a, a workout. So we do the double pump inhale. At the top, you hold for a few seconds, five, 10, 15, totally depends on how activated you are uh, and how familiar you are with breath holding. At the end of that first breath hold, it's a long sigh, making sound in the space. <sighs> and then again, double pump. Hold your breath for a few seconds, and then we move into a long hum on the exhale, really focusing on feeling the vibration and drawing out that exhale. <sighs> and then into a soft, as soft and as slow as possible at this point, inhale through the nose, exhale through the nose, and then a breath hold at the end of that exhale. And this is a breath hold where uh, you can hold for as long as you can within the realm of mild air hunger. So this is not a, uh, a bracing, a squeezing, how, how long can I hold my breath? We really need to meet the breath hold with a sense of softness and opening. And that could be one second for you, especially when we're activated, um, the breath holding can be a lot uh, more difficult. So don't get stuck on how long to hold your breath. It's just really, can I pause? Allow my carbon dioxide to start to elevate, which is what we need to calm down. Uh, so it can feel a little uncomfortable, but the, the more you practice breath holds, the easier this gets. And at the end of that breath hold, you bring in a breath, let it go, and then a good shake. And if you're still feeling quite activated, then you just go through it again. And you could do this you know, three to six times and you're gonna notice a huge difference in your nervous system after that. So I'm gonna go through this uh, and you're welcome to follow along or just watch and then try it out for yourself so that you can feel it in your body, okay? So first step, starting with the double pump inhale and I'm gonna do it with pushing into my belly to get that feedback. <laughs> That's it. Super simple. Makes a huge difference. Give it a try. 
Let me know how it goes.